good evening everyone welcome back thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting and thank you for sharing this awesome channel my corporate journey we are growing yes the numbers and uh, they say numbers don't lie and i agree with that today we are going to talk about different type of numbers or different kind of numbers we are going to talk about money so yeah this paper money makes the world go round others says it buys happiness we all have our own description we all uh look at money and feel differently you know it's a personal thing and today i thought i'll just take time and or, or tonight rather and talk about money money is spiritual we work hard for our monies others wake up early hours of the morning to exchange their time for money so it's important that you you learn to respect money and yes there are ways to invest your money multiply your money have different streams of income manifest about money today i'll be talking specifically about the physical handling of cash how to attract money more cash law of attraction not just by saying your your affirmations in the morning or in the evening or any time of the day i am wealthy i am rich i attract money i i'm, I'm great in finding out business opportunities i rock when it comes to money i can come up with awesome ideas to create more streams of income that is awesome but today i want us to focus on the physical physical law attraction of money so when you have money in your hands how to attract more money i believe and here there isn't much and it doesn't matter how much you have and we all know it's not safe to keep cash because if it goes missing you can't even get it back so don't put yourself under unnecessary risk by keeping too much cash but if you find yourself with few notes whether it's hundreds whether it's 200s just get to a habit of handling your money with respect i always make sure that i don't keep my money like this as if i don't care i just put it anyhow i sit and sort it so all the heads will be facing the right direction and as i sort it i talk to it thank you lord talk to my god for this cash may you help me to multiply it so that my well never goes dry i may provide for myself for my family for my loved ones and for those who do not have enough at this point in time so i speak to the money and say i love money and made also love me and they say the love of money is a root of all evil that's a debate for another day and when you put it in your wallet make sure you put it with dignity you put it in such a way that it is not squashed it doesn't show that you have no respect for it and what works for me as well is that there's times or most of the time i'll just have a, a note you know or just few notes and i'll put it under my pillow and sleep over it just for a night or so but i'm not talking uh notes upon notes upon notes you don't wanna put your life at risk and your family life at risk and uh you will find that even in my handbag there'll be notes you know and others say even if it's coin but it needs to be that silver coin rather 
in my house, sometimes in a in a vase or just a holder, there'll be a 20 rand note, 10 rand note. It doesn't have to be this massive cash that you put all over the shop because then you're putting yourself at risk. But have just few here, a few there, your jackets, have a, a five rand a silver coin and, and leave it there. It attracts more money towards your life. Don't look at money and fear it. Don't look at money and have negative energies that it belongs to a certain class. It's for certain people and it doesn't belong to you. Money is a means to, to our lives, you know. So everyone, everyone deserves to have money. But it's how you handle it. It's how you speak to us. It's how you perceive it that will will set us apart you know and it's important also that you don't get to a habit of always declaring that you don't have money you know and there's people who tend to say whenever it's time to contribute oh sorry i can't i wish i could i don't have money oh no i don't have money i don't i have it i might not have it in my bag right now but I certainly do have it. Speak positively about it. Attract it. Because when you always speak negative, it's as though it can sense. I've already said it's spiritual. And it goes very far away from you and goes and like a magnet to those who don't fear it, who don't always declare or uh, that they uh, they don't have money, who don't plead poverty, even when they do have, who are always saying, I do have it. I do have it. I keep it. I, I believe you need to have it to attract more. Speak positive about money. And yes, put it in your bags, put it around your house, but not a lot of cash. We've covered that. And do not always, always be without a note. You know, you find people that there's people who go for years and say, oh, when was the last time I even held a note in my hand? Have one note at least. Don't rely only on plastics because how do you then attract more? But we all are different. And someone, you're welcome to share how you attract more money on the comment section. And I think I've covered uh, almost everything. And what I also do when I give someone a handbag or a purse, I make sure I put cash in it so that it attracts more money in that person's life. So if there's someone who has gifted you with a bag or pairs, I don't know, depending on the relationship, the last thing you want is someone to say, what is this one planning to do with my money? Ask them to gift you with, a, it doesn't have to be notes. It can be a silver coin, one rent coin, two rent coin, just to, for you to, to, to attract for that bag and that purse to attract more money and don't carry bags around that are empty 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 to a point of you don't even have a one rand in them and dress up for your money when you go for your interview you always look the part why then when you go for business deals you don't dress up and and, and attract it before the deal is even sealed you know and some people say wear gold I say, if you don't have gold or you think it's going to be an overkill, just have a touch of gold. Even if it's just the earrings, that will be gold. And yeah, for guys, they can find any item that will have a touch of gold. And when you go and have the discussions about money, you already looking the part you wearing the gold that you are going to attract that you are going to 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 look for you know and yeah law of attraction it is not enough personally remember this is my financial journey it is a wealth journey it is not enough 
for you for me to just uh, do my affirmation I then physically take the notes and do my part and I've been doing that for years and yeah some people might turn around and say do you actually have it there is a question that I'm not prepared to to respond but I have used cash to attract more cash I have dressed up and and respected uh, the 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 cash that I have to to ensure that it multiplies and it never uh, disappears in my life and it has worked for me and I hope it certainly does work for you and when you give to someone when you gift someone with with money don't complain and say oh gosh now i'm left with nothing i wonder uh, how will i make it till the end of the month give it and give it and give it wholeheartedly and stop this thing of saying between me and poverty this is the only cash that is left until i get paid law of attraction always speak positively about money it will certainly look for you all the time they say it takes money to make money and it doesn't only speak to the wealthy it can speak to you as well depending on how you treat the money that you have and the last point that i want to make is that it doesn't have to be millions don't wait to respect money when you've made millions when you've made hundreds and thousands of friends or billions respect even one rand because there's power in that rand so there's people who look down on few coins who look down on 10 rands and they only take money serious when it's it's your 200 rands note notes do not do that respect each and every coin and note when it comes to money it's as though it can sense how you treat it and it tends to treat you the same way thank you so much for listening and yes there is law of attraction and this is my wealth journey and i hope you've learned something and if you've got something to contribute feel free to drop it on the comment section let us read and let us learn from one another because i have shared my wealth journey we all have different wealth journeys and when it comes to money our beliefs are totally and completely different continue subscribing continue staying in this channel my corporate journey thank you so much for your support